Good morning, everybody. How are you? Welcome to Morning Talks with Ro. You got your morning drink? How y'all been? I am busy. I've been a busy, busy bee, man. I am like right from here, I got to go to the next thing. And then from that thing, I got to go to the next thing. And if I... But come on, right? This is what the high performance life looks like. And it doesn't always have to be like up, 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 up here. But sometimes that's what it requires. It requires a certain level of sacrifice. It requires a certain level of action. It requires a certain level of attention. It requires us to push even when we're tired. Because your curl has been tired. Good morning. Welcome to the conversation. I see all this love coming in. Usually it shows me the faces or the names of the people when they come in. And I can't see them. Why is that? Does anybody know? Did I turn something off, y'all? Hey, Charles. Yes, Reach For Me is the next single for In Vogue. Y'all been hearing it on Heart and Soul, I heard. Satellite radio, right? <laughs> Sir William, what you doing? Welcome to the conversation. You got your morning drink. You gonna come chop it up with your girl? Because we about to get it in. We gonna talk about being a high performer today. But not just a high performer. How to high perform high in different in your life overall but in order to do that we got to look at the different areas of our lives right good morning everybody how y'all doing ev is from everywhere these days <laughs> good morning hey y'all welcome to morning talks with ro i see all this love and these hearts coming in it's making my heart smile y'all make me feel like i'm appreciated up in the joint thank you thank you for coming in and, and hanging out i love it you said turn your turn on your face. <laughs> what, Anthony? Hey, y'all. Let's see. I made it. Made it over. It's a new day. <laughs> yes, I'm good. How about it? Good morning, everybody. All this good energy. Happy Tuesday. It's Transformation Tuesday. Can I just tell you how tired your girl has been? I've been up and down and around. Um trying to squeeze everything in you know how <laughs> like everything seems to happen at one time sometimes like I had to turn in a car and I had to do this and I had to do that and then I still gotta uh, you know pull together the details for my retreat that's coming up PPU is having its first annual exclusive school retreat in Orlando Florida September 6th through the 9th it's the first thing, first time I've ever done anything like this. Shout out to Team PPU for their level of dedication, diligence, uh, vision, um, attention to detail, and support of Coach Row. Because when I tell you, I need it. I almost feel like I'm getting emotional right now. My goodness. So thank you to everybody. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect to get emotional. Thank you to everybody who has been helping me to pull my stuff together and to um, pull off the things that I really care about, you know? This is such a, a big leap right now and so many other things are happening in my life and it's like trying to juggle it and find what, th what that balance means to me is very interesting. But that's what a high performance life looks like. You go into uncharted territories. You do things that aren't comfortable necessarily. You, you have to find a way to make a way. You have to ask for help. You have to recruit other team members and share in the passion and the love and the support of something. Very, very huge um, thing I've been teaching some of my students of late and that has impacted my life. It's a very, very simple sentence. Five words. People support what they create. Put that, implement that in your life. If you're running into an issue with someone or something, or if you just want to drum up more support for something that you care about, that you're passionate about, people support what they create. Get them involved. How can they contribute? How can their ideas matter? You'd be surprised what things, how things turn around when you include other people in your forward movement. Don't make it just about you. People support what they create. Implement that. Watch things turn around. How's everybody doing? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Do you have your morning drink? Welcome to Morning Talks with Ro. Let's talk about what's real. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about up-leveling around this joint. Let me see what you guys are saying before we go all the way in. Okay, let's see. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Hey, Prince. Ashley, hey. 
Saray, welcome to the conversation. William Thompson, Aisha, Team PPU, boo. Hey, baby. Hey, Jay. Hey, Auntie. High performing this past weekend. Low performer right now. I feel you. We go hard in the pain, then we go, woo, woo, let's reserve, right? Get it on reserve, then power back up and mm, get back out in the game. Okay. Uh, Tanya, good morning, Soror. Michael, good morning. I know. I'm glad you're going to come to the retreat, honey. So much love is being poured into this thing. Uh, Robert, uh, you, can you see, can I see your hair in the sun? Let's see. Can you, does, is this providing more sunlight right now? Did this just make me more lively and vibrant and sunshiny? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Hopefully it ain't claws in a glare. Thank you, Ashley. Good morning, darling. Such a lovely spirit. We really appreciate you. Thank you, Darius. Hey, Rel. So excited for the retreat. Good morning, Shirley. Good morning, y'all. Okay. So who, but before I even um, share some of the, the notes that I've made, who in the chat is dealing with a challenge? You know, do you just feel like you're, you, you're lacking something overall? Or is there some space in particular that you feel like, ugh, I'm just not getting progress here. What is it? Basically, what we're going to be talking about today, and I want you guys to do me a favor. I'm about to go up level after this conversation. Coaches, coaching coaches. I'm about to be coached after this conversation, okay? Everybody can use a coach. Do you feel me? Everybody can need help uh, with someone helping them to find a blind spot because you're not so subjective, right? The things that they're coaching me on, this is stuff that's my heart stuff. It's stuff that means a lot to me. So sometimes I might be able, I might not be able to have the most objective point of view or I might not be able to see everything peripherally because I'm so myopic or I'm so focused in one direction or I'm, I, I'm juggling too many things and somebody might say hey Ro slow down right here or hey Ro did you notice that you're missing this detail or hey Ro um, you know what maybe you just need to like pause from that and deprioritize that and make this more of a priority it's not that we're reinventing the wheel you guys Sometimes you just need somebody to step in and help you to see things more objectively, help you to see things from a broader perspective, help you to put a different spin on something, help you, just like I mentioned to you before with the golf analogy, to adjust the shoulders, adjust the hips. Maybe you got a great stroke, but if you're pointing in the wrong direction, you're going to always slice the ball. You're going to always hook the ball. So if somebody comes in and say, hey, did you realize that your hips are like kind of square when they need to be a little bit more angled? And if you just angle your hips a bit more, your ball's going to shoot straight forward. That's what coaching does. That's what good coaching does. Good coaching comes in and helps you to see some blind spots. Good coaching comes in and helps you to uh, expand or shift in perspective. That's what I'm going to get after this call. So if you can do me a favor or this call, I'm going to a call after this talk. If you guys can tell me, because I can't see the time on my phone, when we hit the hour mark, because that's going to be 11 o'clock for me, tell Coach Rose so that I can get my butt off this thing and I can prepare for my next call. Yeah, deal? Because I need your help. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the conversation. Thank you for the compliment on her. Okay. So if you, if you feel like I miss a few areas and the ones that I mentioned, go ahead and throw them in the pot, right? But one of the first areas that we can touch on is health, right? Health, um, huge area that can get neglected by a lot of people, especially as we get older and we pile on more responsibilities, especially as you're trying to juggle a lot of stuff. Uh, maybe you're trying to please a lot of people. If you got kids, it gets even more special because sometimes uh, people's kids become more of a priority than themselves. Uh, if you've got a spouse, same thing can happen. Are you getting lost? Is your health getting lost in the shuffle with you doing everything else in your life? And what is that meaning to your progress? What is that meaning to your ability to be, be vibrant and to bring a certain level, generate a certain level of joy, generate a certain level of, of, of tenacity, of energy? You see the energy I bring to this conversation? Even sometimes I got to turn it on, right? This is something I teach at Personal Power University. How do we turn it on? We develop things like an incantation, a personal manifesto, something that you can say that if you program yourself in a peak state of being, meaning a high level of energy, you bring a certain feeling to every time you say these words because you're going to create something that bridges the gap either from where you are to where you want to go or just speak very succinctly and determined as to who you are, who you're becoming 
but you're speaking in an I am presence and you start to program yourself with this on a regular basis so much so that it becomes a trigger for you mentally when you say it and you say it in a peak state and then that puts you in a certain energetic space. There's certain, all kinds of tools that you can develop to bring energy, to generate energy in life. But how many of you are suffering in the health area because you're putting out energy everywhere else but here? Who's doing that? What are you guys saying? Let's see. Self-confidence. Excellent job, bro. Thank you, Delmar. Ten minutes. Oh, we I got ten minutes? Okay, because I did push my thing back a bit. Why did you not tell me that you're going? Oh, <laughs> how do I stop being negative? Robert says. Thank you for the question, Robert. How do you stop being negative? Um... Wow, that's kind of an expansive question. In what way do you feel you're being negative? Do you have a negative perspective about life? Are you always looking for the bad in someone or something else? Do you expect the bad instead of expecting the good? Do you look for the good in a situation or in a person before you look for the bad? What is your normal setup when you approach life mentally? How do you see things? How do you see people? And then where does it come from? Like, because sometimes we don't even realize we're running our own little tape, little negative tape, little negative chatterbox. And if you're not conscious, if you don't bring awareness to it, you know, pay attention to yourself when you're doing things, when you're saying things, where it's coming from, then you'll just stay in this little vicious loop of negativity. When in essence, you do have more power over it than you're giving yourself credit for. Hey, Zoe. Hey, baby. Welcome to the conversation. You said always. So that's, that's the first place to start. Now you've brought awareness to the fact that you are consciously choosing to be negative, right? You're consciously choosing to see the bad. You're consciously choosing to not search for the good instead. What if you flipped it on its head? You'd be surprised, you guys, if you just do the complete opposite of what you do, how that would scramble the pattern you're in and start to rewire you differently. But you got to do it consistently. And that's the thing that, that trips people up. People think that if they do it a few times, it's supposed to change. No, you've been in a negative pattern for years, right? So in order to change a habit, which is something you do consistently, repetition is the mother of all skill, you do something repeatedly, it's going to become a habit. Break a habit, do its opposite. Break a habit, do something that, that is counter to it consistently. And especially when it's hard. A lot of us have gotten used to being wired a certain way. Okay, there's a, there's a movie out there called What the Bleep Do We Know? Watch it. What the Bleep Do We Know? Great movie. Sometimes you have gotten in, you're, we don't even know we're addicted to drama, right? So you get in this pattern where you get off on negativity even though it's not serving you possibly even though it's producing negative more negative results if something gives you a charge in life if something energizes you every time you do it gossip you know how you get sparks from it it may be a negative stimuli but if you're getting sparks from it it's charging you right it's giving you energy and anything that gives us energy makes us feel more alive anything that makes you feel more alive you're probably gonna become addicted to even if it's in, it's not in your best interest. So what you got to do is scramble the pattern, break those neural pathways you've been connecting. Because every time you do it, they get closer and closer. Every charge you get, they get closer and closer. Every charge you get, they get closer and closer. And the more you keep wiring them together, now you got this little tight, little night, nice little ball of energy that's been built off of negativity. So think about it from that perspective. If you mentally connect to it in that perspective, now, in order to break this ball you've created, you got to keep going in its opposite direction. You got to keep going in its opposite direction to break the pattern, to break the ball apart. Break, 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 break. Right? Now, you reprogram with only positive or empowering things and this is not a Pollyanna way of saying like oh I'm just so positive no bridge the gap from where you are to where you want to be sometimes being positive is just neutralizing about something don't have any opinion take the judgment off that's being positive <laughs> you know what I'm saying so sometimes some being positive is just neutralizing and what you got to do because I've been there before I've been addicted to drama what you got to do is do it when it's hard 
when you really want to indulge in that negative conversation, when you really want to get off on that negative stimuli, go the opposite direction. That's one of the hardest things to do for a lot of us. Go the opposite direction. That's how you start breaking that ball apart that we just talked about. That's how you start breaking that apart and rewiring to get off on peace, rewiring to get off on empowerment. I don't even I don't even want to be associated with negativity for too too long. I see the difference in the different charges. Then now I'm aware of this what this charge felt like and what this charge felt like. Now I like this charge better. This is a more elevated space of living and being and doing and thinking and seeing and operating from. Even though this is energy, it's a low vibrational energy. I don't even like it really no more. So I don't stay there too long. I'm not claiming perfection, but I don't stay there too long. Because I know it doesn't serve me. I don't want to create from here. I want to create from here. So the first place would be to bring awareness to it, which you just did, Robert. Right? Bring awareness to it and now go in the opposite direction. Do what's hard in the moment. Find the good in the moment. Just like me, this person is looking for happiness too. Just like me, this person wants to, to be themselves without being phony and being their representative thinking they got to be something else in order to be accepted just like me you know put yourself in somebody else's shoes if that's if that helps also uh surround yourself with positive stimuli get around people who discuss ideas instead of other people in a negative way get around people who are going after something get around people who got a lot of energy and generate a lot of positive vibes get around people who like joy get around people who who sit in peace and just be in their presence. Change your circle. Social circle is huge too, right? So many things you can do to rewire yourself in that way. But I hope that that, that that analogy helped you to understand what you may have been doing over a long period of time. And what it's going to take to break that thing apart. And then rewire and bring it back together from different stimuli. That's more positive. More empowering. More fulfilling. Higher vibration of being. And once you give yourself the gift of that, I don't think you'll want to go back in the other direction too often. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the conversation. Welcome to Morning Talks with Ro. April says, make a habit of replacing neg negative thoughts with positive ones immediately. Go the opposite direction. Cut that negative loop. Absolutely. Instead of I can't, say I can't. Go the opposite direction. Good vibes only. Robert says, stop myself when I catch myself, but emotion always gets me. That's okay. Good. Awareness is the first key to change, you guys. Don't think you got to be perfect. Perfection is the enemy of success. Don't think you have to be perfect. Just endeavor to do better every day. There's a person, there's a guy out there. I saw his quote last night. I was like, I like that. He says, just do 1% better every day. I like that. I, I might even challenge you to go a couple percent, 2%. But just get 1% better every day. Keep chipping away. You know I like to say that a lot. Keep chipping away. You know? I see I'm at 11 o'clock. I'm going to bounce in about five minutes. I just saw my clock in here. Keep chipping away. 1% better every day. Don't let perfection get in the way of you continuing to make these small adjustments. The golf analogy is perfect, right? It is not about changing your entire stroke overnight. Just keep making adjustments. You know, change the shoulder, get the hips squared up, get your mindset right, run the right tape, run champion dialogue, cut the mental negative mental chatterbox off before it can get good and start just going in, <laughs> right? And then the, it start reworking those wires again, reconnecting those negative wires. Break that stuff up. Do its opposite. And when you feel that emotion, just become aware of the emotion. Sit in it. Be uncomfortable. Uncomfortability is where your success is. When it's comfortable, you already did that before you know that. When it's uncomfortable and you're in the space of mystery, embrace it. Become aware of it and be uncomfortable in it and just see what kind of sensations it feels like. Sometimes be just be silent before you say anything or before you go with a default reaction. That's positive. Zip it. <laughs> right? Zip it. Sometimes it's just that. 1% better every day. Awesome thought. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the conversation. You said 60 seconds. Thank you, Armani. Okay, you guys. Today's going to be a shorter morning tonsil roll, but we already just 
chopped it up and got some really good stuff in. Sometimes I'll have a, a plan for what I think I want to talk about and then we'll get a jewel like that to pop up because Robert was transparent. I appreciate you. Shanika says, I was so stressed out this weekend. Got caught up with uh, creating and trying to go to the next level and my body said, hold up. When I'm sick, it's hard for me to just rest, but I feel like I'm being lazy. So do you feel like that's a problem? Thank you, Armani. Thank you, Shamika. Lindola says, that's good, Rona. I'm enjoying this church service. I may skip Bible class tonight. I've already had it with you. <laughs> Get it all in, right? All of it is support for your soul and spirit. Also, listen to your body, Shanika. Go and speak on it, Shirley. Hey, Q. Bless up. Okay, so guess what? Coach Roe is going to be coached right now, you guys. I'm glad that we even got that beautiful jewel that we just got right now. I will continue what I was going to start today, next week. And if you guys ever want to speak about something in particular, something very specific, drop it in my Facebook inbox or go to my email at askro at gmail.com. A-S-K-R-H-O at gmail.com. Shamika, you and I got a meeting in about an hour, baby girl. I will see you soon. And... Yeah, Coach Roy is about to go level up with her coach, Church. I hope everybody has started their week fantastically. Shout out to your Transformation Tuesday. Shout out to going in the opposite direction of that which you'd like to change. Scramble the pattern. Choose the more empowered thought. And sometimes just neutralize. And that in itself may be what the next step is for you. Do 1% better and endeavor to do 1% to 2% better every day. What new habit can you pick up? Who's in your social circle? Up-level your social circle. Surround yourself with positive stimuli. Go find it. Go to YouTube and watch a video every day. Change your morning routine. Get in a pattern for success. Support yourself at every turn that you possibly can. And get comfortable being uncomfortable. That's where the magic is. If you already know it, you go with a default reaction, you've been there. That's a habit. You ready to change that habit? Go in the opposite direction. Allow yourself to be uncomfortable. Bring awareness to that uncomfortable feeling. Sit in it and let it teach you. Get silent with it. Don't say nothing, right? I'm sending so much love to you guys. Have a fantastic Tuesday. Let me see what you guys are saying before I leave. All right, you guys. Shout out to the second single for Invoke reach for me if you guys hear it put it on my page or something take pictures of it hashtag reach for me hashtag invoke hashtag sending love out to you guys until next monday bye